Hi, I'm Heather Hubanks, and I work as a development specialist in the Green River College Foundation Office. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps of applying for a scholarship on our website. So let's get started. To access the Green River College Foundation scholarship application, go to grcfoundation.awardspring.com or visit the scholarship page at greenrivercollegefoundation.org and click the link. When you first log into the site, you will see a picture of Slater the Gator. The site will ask you if it's your first time here, so click yes if it is and enter your Green River College email. It will then prompt you to set up a password. If your Green River College email address is not recognized, please email me at hhubanks at greenriver.edu. I can help you set up an account under your personal email address until your GRC email is set up. Once you have set up your password, you will be sent directly to the application itself. On the left margin, a dashboard will be shown that includes reminders of what needs to be completed on your application, a list of scholarships available, and a link to start the application. There is also a Start Application tab in the middle of the page that you can click to access the application. Please read each tab of the application as it contains important information about scholarships and the application process. As the text explains, several boxes on the general tab may already be pre-filled in for you as we already have this information in our system. Throughout the application, be sure that every question has an answer so that all sections are complete. The Academic Information tab pertains to your high school and college experience so far. Please provide as much information as possible so we can determine whether you are eligible for merit and program-based scholarships that we offer. The information in the Financial tab helps us determine whether you are eligible for our financial need-based scholarships, so please fill out this section as completely as possible. The Supplemental Questions tab is a place for you to tell the application readers a little bit about yourself and your educational journey so far. You have up to a thousand words to answer the three question prompts. The Qualifications tab is a series of what seems like random questions, but they help us determine which program-based scholarships we have that you may be eligible for. Letters of recommendation are optional, but highly recommended, as they can enhance your scholarship application. Please use the three templates to send your request to someone, like an instructor, former instructor, boss, or supervisor. Or it could be a volunteer coordinator if you volunteer in the community. Letters of recommendation cannot come from a family member or friend. It is your responsibility to reach out and contact the person by email, phone, or in person to let them know that you are applying for a scholarship. Then let them know they will receive an email that they should fill out completely. Once this is submitted, it will automatically be attached to your application. The Foundation does not accept hard copy written letters. Additionally, letters must be current. They cannot be from a previous application. Once all tabs are complete and you type your signature, click the Submit Application button and your application will be submitted. The Foundation does not review applications until after the deadline. So if you applied in January, it may not be until July that you will receive additional information. Please make sure to regularly check your email as it is how we will communicate with you about scholarships. I hope that this tutorial has helped you in understanding the steps needed to successfully complete your application. If you have any questions about filling out any part of the information or about scholarships in general, please contact me in the Foundation Office at 253-288-3348 or by email at hhubanks at greenriver.edu. Thanks for listening, and we hope to hear from you soon.